right? Um, <laughs> here if you're looking at it. I mean, no, here's how I'm looking at it. I think what happened is exactly what he says. I don't know if it was your leg or his leg or so. I don't know whose leg it was. I don't know if we can tell whose leg it was at that point. I think he might be saying that it's your leg, but nobody's quite sure. And then I think that instead of just telling me the truth, you come up here, up here and you put your hand to God and you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And then you lie to me about how it happened. That's what I think. my turn signal got broken. I never said I didn't sleep with him in the backseat of my car. Ooh. But that's not how my turn signal was broken. And that's what we're here for it's today. It's a problem for me. It's a problem for me. Okay. Because I got to be able to trust the plaintiff that they are telling me the truth. And, and I if am. they are lying about something this integral, then it's a problem for me. Because I then can't believe you or your testimony about how something happened. All you got is your testimony and this little piece of paper where someone scribbles whatever piece of information they'd like to. Okay, I don't know how much that part costs. I don't know. I know your father didn't charge you for it. I don't know. You can't just make up a figure and make up a story, girl. That's not how it works. Not here. Not today. Hurry for the defendant. Does the plaintiff lose is this case here in people's court? Step in here. What, what's, what's going through your mind as you come out here? Nothing. Nothing? Well, we all know how my turn signal was broken, and we know it was not by he and I having sex in my front seat. Were you embarrassed to finally admit that? Right?